you, but I have an issue with procrastination sometimes, especially when it comes to something that really matters, something that I care about, something that other people will see. I worry that I'm going to look bad or I'm not going to be taken seriously or it's not going to be good enough. All of that is wrapped up in the anxiety to fail. When I think about failure, I think about all of the ways that I've been taught to win, to be the best, to do better, and never just to try again and again until I succeed or determine that what I was looking to do was just not the thing that I wanted. John Maxwell says to fail early, fail often, and to keep trying. That makes sense to me. Do you have the courage to fail? I don't know. I've developed it, and I want to talk to you about that today. See, often I've tried to be everything that I thought that everyone wanted. I wanted to be the best of everything. And what happens with that is that I started to lose who I was, which is really interesting because isn't that failure when you've lost everything of who you are and you're only what people want you to be? I feel like that's the greatest fa failure, the failure to be who you are. How do you change that? How do you decide to have the courage to be who you are? And in that is wrapped up the courage to fail. I want you to think about the last time you failed and what you did right after that failure. You have it in your mind? Good. So what's the answer? Did you talk badly to yourself? Did you stop and make a list of all the ways that you could have done something better? Did you just think, swallow me earth, just, I hope no one sees this. Did you just try again? Our idea of failure is rooted in many things inside of us. When we examine those things, we can find our freedom. I was thinking about the last time I failed. I made a comment on Facebook. It, it was epically uh, bad in some ways. And when I realized that I made the mistake, I did all of the things that people tell you not to do. I talked poorly to myself. I wanted to hide. I wanted the earth to swallow me. And then I remembered that I really had learned how to deal with failure already. I remembered that I was human. And in being human, I was imperfect. I remembered that just as I cared for people and offered grace, people cared for me and offered grace. And I remembered that all I could do was learn and move forward. And in that, I was free. See, the courage to fail is not some kind of beautiful, wrapped up, shiny thing that you can buy at a store. It really comes in the way that you treat yourself and in the way that you value yourself. The courage to fail isn't about what other people think of you. It's about what you think of you. And the courage to fail isn't about whether you do it right every time. It's not something that you achieve like a video game and then you never have to try again. It really is speaking to yourself 
every day in the moments where you are not the best you that you can be, being loving, seeing where you made the mistakes, deciding whether you want to change that, and then moving forward. It's simple. The courage to fail is simple. And it's difficult if you don't decide to value you in the process. I hope you all can reach out to yourself and give yourself the grace that you give others and give yourself the gift of the courage to fail.